that we have practiced one, let's try one more where the graph is now descending or going down instead of ascending or going up. So I do want you to make a quick note on your paper about the word ascend, and that means to go up. So I write it like that to show ascending versus descending. And I really want you to write these down because these are very popular words that come up in word problems all the time. So to ascend means to uh, go up or increase, or descend means to descend, to go down or decrease. So the process to find the rate of change is still the same, but I wonder what happens since our graph is descending. So let's take a look. Well, I know that first we need to find our slope. And so in order to do that, I know we find the change in y over the change in x. And so in a graph, I have to find two points. And here I could have found this point here that they gave us. I also see that it crosses here and here and here, right? Those are exact corners. But since they gave us two red ones, I could use that, but that's going to be a lot of counting. Or I could use the ones that are closer together and maybe not count as much. It is up to us, just like in a table where we can choose the points that we look at. I'm going to keep the ones that they gave us and just make them a little bolder. And so this time, instead of going up to the second point on the top, I'm going to go down, right? The, the, the direction that we go does not matter, and we're going to see why in just a second. So to go down to the bottom, I'm going to count my jumps. Two, three, remembering to go from corner to corner. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And since I went down, that is a negative direction. Going down is the negative direction, mm -hmm. and more specifically, negative ten spaces versus the positive direction. And now we aren't exactly there yet, but we're getting closer. And so now let's go ahead and move to the point and count our jumps. And I see that that is five spaces in the positive direction, remembering that the other way is the negative, so positive five. And now can we simplify negative 10 and a positive five? Well, I know that's two, but I'm not sure about the sign. So I'm going to draw my tic-tac-toe chart to mm -hmm. remind myself. And I'm going to highlight where I see a negative being divided with a positive, and I see that sure enough we should have a negative sign on our answer. So our slope is a negative 2, which makes sense because our graph, if we look from left to right, is decreasing. So if I just looked at it visually, I know that it's decreasing, so that means it must be a negative slope, right? Just like in the last problem, our ascending or our increasing slope was positive. Well, in this case, if it's descending, our slope will be negative. So that's going to be a cool key feature to look at in our slope so that we already know another way to check what sign should go on our slope when we're done calculating it. Okay, let's look at the y-intercept now. So I remember that the y-intercept is where it crosses on the y-axis, right? Where it intersects or crosses on the y-axis. And I see that it is right here. So I'm going to highlight that and label it B. And I see that's a positive 1. So now I have found the y-intercept. I found the constant. We just need to put the pieces together. I know my equation is y equals mx plus b. So we just need to replace the m variable and the b variable with a negative 2 and a positive 1. So y equals negative 2x plus 1. So I just want to stamp really quickly before we move on that we have seen a slight difference about the rate of change since the previous video, and that was just the fact that it was negative. But we talked about how the graph is descending from left to right, so it actually gives us a helpful hint. So when we look at graphs, we could actually determine if the slope is going to be negative or positive based on how the graph is changing from left to right. So if it's increasing from left to right, our slope will be positive, and if it is decreasing from left to right, then it will be negative. All right, let's go to independent practice.